It's been a frustrating season for the Colts fans, but with three weeks left in the season, although at six and seven, they still found themselves in first place and controlling their own destiny. Well, not anymore. Houston 0 for 16 against the Colts in Indy as they're trying to get that first win. Second quarter action, Matt Hasselbeck in the red zone here looking for Dante Moncrief. Touchdown there, 7 0 Colts, and Moncrief doing a little air guitar there. Let's move to the second quarter. TJ Yates walking off the field as he would get injured. Fourth quarter action, 10 6, Colts still on top. And Brandon Wheaton in the game for the Texans. He gets a touchdown there, 13 10, Texans on top. More quarterback trouble though for the Colts. Hasselback would get injured here. That play, he would be taken out of the game. Charlie Whitehurst would actually come into the game for a series, but then Hasselback come back into the game. Maybe too early because late fourth, Colts looking for something. Hasselback throws an interception. Colts fall 16 10. Zach Hughes from our Fort Wayne station was in Indy and has more. In the battle for AFC South supremacy, the Houston Texans came to Lucas Oil Stadium and got their first win in franchise history in Indianapolis as they improved to 7-7 seven and seven and the Colts fell to 6-8. and eight. You just can't let a team hang around this league. You got to be able to put them away. When you smell blood, you got to be able to put them away offensively, defensively. You know, I thought our special teams really stood out for us, uh, punting the ball well, coverage teams were great. Uh, we just, towards the end, you know, it's about finishing the games. And uh, the way we've won and lost games this year, they've gone down to the wire. And uh, we just have to find a way. We got to focus in on Miami and just get a win. We didn't finish. You know, we let them hang around, you know. And that's what you can't do. When, when you start getting turnovers and you get, when you start fast like that, you got to, you know, we, we got to do things to just put them out. You know, um, and we didn't do that at all today. You know, it's just, it's very disappointing, man, to, to come out here and not get a win at home, especially with, with how many, what, what was on the line, you know, playoff caliber game. So it's just disappointing. We don't have control of our destiny, but we're still in it. And that's the most encouraging thing about it. And that's what we're going to take uh, as motivation uh, this Tuesday, preparing and, and, and practicing and going back to work, man. No time to, to cry or lick your wounds. This is the National Football League. Uh, so you hope for the best and uh, just get back to work. Now with two weeks remaining on the season, the Texans control their own destiny. They'll play the Tennessee Titans and the Jacksonville Jaguars, while the Colts will travel to Miami and host the Titans needing some help. Reporting from Lucas Oil Stadium, Zach Hughes for the Indy Blitz. All right, over to Minnesota Bears trying to spoil the Vikings' playoff hopes. First quarter action, Teddy Bridgewater, nice pass, maybe a better catch there. 7-0 Vikings. Let's move over to the second quarter. Now it's 10-0 Vikings. Bears, though, Jay Cutler inside the red zone. He throws a pretty nice touchdown pass of his own. 10-7 now, but that's as close as the Bears would get right before the half. Another Bridgewater touchdown as the, excuse me, as the Vikings go on to win. 38-17, and Titans already eliminated from the playoff action, but it's not hard to get up for the Patriots' first quarter action. Brady to that polar bear Gronk there. Seven nothing Patriots. Second quarter action. Titans trying to get something going here, but Marcus Mariota goes back to pass. Ball is tipped. A little scramble for the ball there. Eventually gets into the end zone with the Patriots falling on top of it. 14 nothing there. But Titans trying to get a big play here on the special teams. They force a fumble. That would end up leading only to a field goal. 14-3, New England goes on to win this one, 33-16. Up next in sports, enough of these losing teams. Aces get their 10th win out west. Those highlights coming up next.